Hello, 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 welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the drop. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin market. So strap in, strap on, because you are about to learn today. Did you long the top, though? Did you? Because if you did, you're probably quite far underwater right now. I'm, I'm here to make sure you don't do that again. So listen up. Let's go. And uh, let's just talk about what's happening here. What has happened anyway. I said that if we don't get support here and we don't get support here, we're probably going to dump all the way down to 11.1. And what did we do? We dumped all the way down to 11.160. A little bit higher than I would have liked, actually. And it does spell that we could continue this downside momentum here but uh, right now right now let's talk about the predictions okay because we've had our big girthy dump here uh, we are potentially playing out a bounce from the price action channel as well as our 21 EMA but there is still room to come up here uh, the main point here though the main point here as I turn my music down because this is kind of this is kind of in my ear a lot a lot a lot okay but in terms of patterns here, because uh, there is patterns here, there is patterns, okay? Big old girthy patterns all over your face here on a thirsty Thursday, okay? Uh, so what have we got here? We've got potential trap zone forming here, very nice, very good time. We've also got our candle bodies here for the, uh, for the actual girth of the pattern as well. And then we have a trap zone on top as well here with these wicks, right? You can see that uh, pretty straightforward stuff here coming forward, right? Uh, whether you would call this an ascending triangle or not, I probably wouldn't here. It's not ascendy enough. Uh, this is just more of a channel uh, or, or some kind of, um, I don't know, wedge forming in here, right? Uh, but for now, it's looking a little bit neutral, I would say, right? Uh, and we have had a some pretty beefy resistance lines here uh, and you can tell here that there is potential to come down lower just based on this pattern right so normally after a big dump like this you would go down you would get your thing and then uh, if you are coming back up you'd play some kind of uh, ascending triangle here and then you could play that move out up to 11.5 right uh, but in this case we basically came down to where our original candle close low was anyway and we'll see on the higher time frames in a minute uh, that it might look a little bit different on there which gives us a little bit more bullish upside here potential uh, but if we do lose this trap zone here at any point 11 2 I would expect to come down test 10 9 uh, personally in my opinion right and that's just based on stuff we've talked about in the past right we've got trend lines coming down we got all this good stuff happening here uh, right so it does make sense I wonder if that's better no nah, it's not better um, yeah, I, w I wonder if it, it does make sense here to come down here, 11k, uh, potentially even lower than that, uh, 11, uh, 10, 9, something like that, right? Uh, but uh, with this channel here, let's just plot out the measure move because that is what you're here for, right? You want to know where we're going, what is the prediction, okay? So uh, if we go towards the upside here, this could either be very, very violent here, uh, based on these candles here, like in this pattern, or uh, we could get some kind of what we've done here, right, with this. Uh, and it would basically just bring us all the way up here if we do out of this pattern nicely it would bring us all the way back above our price action channel above our 200 EMA above our 200 SMA and above our 55 okay so this would be a, a pretty pretty bullish scenario here if we did get up here uh, but be aware Bitcoin is trapping a lot so what we're gonna look for here is a momentum switch on a retest of these areas right um, and I, I hate to be the, the broken record repeating myself here but that's what it is that's how to trade Bitcoin profitably you need to look at the momentum you need to look at the healthiness of the move right uh, this here wasn't necessarily that healthy of a move so I didn't trade it because we didn't respect uh, these guys anyway but I did point out guys that it could be very very violent based on the fact that we have already tested these moving averages quite a lot here and zigzagged around them, right? Uh, so uh, that played out pretty nicely here towards the downside. And again, I wasn't in the long, I wasn't holding any Bitcoin here. Uh, so I'm fine here for this to drop down. We said that yesterday, the lower it goes, the better it is because we can get a better entry for a long, right? Uh, so with this, what's gonna happen here? If we do respect this line and come back up and reclaim our 21 here, then it's a lot more bullish towards the upside here. But uh, I would still be expecting a bit more of a bounce uh, from this price action channel here. So maybe it will just be a sideways day here where we do something like this uh, before 
coming up uh, and, and completing this potential measure move here, right? Uh, so with this potential measure move here, uh, we're talking about uh, 11, 6, 30 area, and then we're gonna have to reevaluate for that, right? Um, but I wouldn't be taking longs as soon as we break this trap zone, even though it is, like you could do that, it's not like against the rules to do that, but uh, I would say, uh, just be careful around here because we could zigzag and go sideways around since there's so many moving averages around this area, right? Uh, in terms of the downside here, if we do break this towards the downside, it's gonna be a lot, uh, a lot easier of a move to have, right? And even if it is a wick uh, for this, um, it's going to be fairly easy to do, right? Uh, so if we just go from here, um, we can see that we would come down to 11.1 at least, right? And if we come out from our trap zone here as well, uh, we would come down to, well, exactly 11.1 as well, right? Uh, but I would expect some continuation after that. Uh, a lot of FUD would come in after that, obviously, and you can see continuations of these moves uh, for a second wave down to 10.9 is plausible here if we lose this. Right now we are in this pattern, so uh, it's a big question mark right now, and I am looking potentially for longs here, but uh, if we get back to 11.6, that's going to be kind of my uh, more likely area to log personally right um and then I'll essentially just be looking for that quick little scalpy scalp. And again, when I say long, I don't mean investment long. We'll talk about investment longs in the future here. But um, yeah, uh, like a 3% long, pretty nice gain here uh, if that does come into fruition. Um, and that's pretty much it for the short term. Let's talk about the midterm here because uh, it's shaping up a little bit differently here, but not too different. You can see here we've got the same pattern coming in very nicely. Girthy, girthy, girthy all over you on a thirsty Thursday here, right? Um, in terms of this, as I said, right, uh, I do expect to respect this line a little bit, but I don't expect to uh, just colossally dump through it or colossally bounce off of it, right? And we've done exactly that here uh, with the zigzag around it like we basically did here as well, right? Uh, so uh, this trend line is, is doing its job right now, and uh, we're just going to see where this measure move is going to take us. And I could draw this again, but it's a little bit repetitive to do so, uh, just bringing us down here uh, to this nice pivot point here for a monthly pivot on uh, 11,200. So that's pretty nice here in terms of if we did come down, that would be a good take profit to have and a good time to be eyeing up longs. But if we did go below that 11.2 zone, you can see here, uh, there's not a lot stopping us uh, to come down here to this guy, right? And if we do come down here, we could easily get to 11K, 10.9 from that point, just based on what I've just said right in the short term, right? Uh, with the upside again here, guys, if, we, if we're looking for a solid, solid, solid bounce, um, Again, we're going to look for this measure move here. Uh, we're going to come up here, and we're going to see that we are we would we would be above the price action channel, okay? But we wouldn't be above the 200 SMA here, this white line. Uh, so with that, just 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 planted in your mind there. You've got to wait for us to basically get over this, and and ideally here the situation here for the long up to 12k from there would be a, a little tap on 11.8, come back down here, even if it is a wick. Um, Come back down here, test this moving average coming forward, and then look for that long off of there all the way up to 12K, right? And trading can sometimes be this simple, okay? Sometimes be this simple. Before I continue here for the long term, I would just like to say thank you for watching this video, thank you for uh, watching this far, and if you would like to help me out, because there's a lot of spam bots just joining, leaving spam, leaving, and it brings my retention down, uh, lowers my, my retention, which means I get showed to less people, which doesn't help the channel. It's not fair, guys, it's not fair. Can't catch up the big boys here, right? So, so if you would like to help me out, leave a little like, okay? You can subscribe if you like the content. I, I'm just focused on giving you value. I don't accept sponsorships and all that stuff, so feel free to do that. And without further ado, let's, let's bring up the four hour quickly. Yep, same scenario here. Uh, I would say it looks a little bit more bearish, but there's a lot of wicks here, so potentially we will get a BART up here back up to the price action channel. Um, we haven't tested this price action channel yet, so we'll see how this progresses, right? Um, next up. Next up here, what do we have? We have the 24 hour right now, okay? And this is the pattern we've all been looking at. Um, looking like we might break towards the downside here, you can see that, right? And if we do that, we do have a, a pretty girthy measure move, and this is why I said 10.9 uh, is pretty likely here if we do break and lose this area pretty uh, convincingly, right? 10.9 is pretty likely, and it could get as low as 10.7 here if the, if the FUD does kick in, right? And what I was hoping for here was basically a grind up or a bounce or something all the way up to 11.6 um, would be ideal here. Then we'd lose this, right? And then we play out a measure move kind of mid-September like we did last year, right? And then we play out that measure move all the way down to 10.8 uh, where people will start getting really, really bearish and then Bitcoin can do Bitcoin things and trap under the 55 and then bang it from that point, right? Girthy, girthy bangs. Bacon wraps all over you. Oh, we love it. We love it here. So that is essentially 
what's, what the downside is looking like here. If we do recover from this point, if we do recover from this point, we do get a big girthy bounce from here. Uh, the targets are pretty high, okay? Uh, we've got, as we said, we, we've got to wait for to see how we do around 11.6, potentially 11.8 with a wick, um, but... If this, if this does turn out to be a trap, we'll see a quick BART back up, and it'll just be a buyback, uh, and, and then we'll just come back up. Uh, not stock buyback, guys, just a buyback, like, just buying it back up to this price. <laughs> and then we'll test this red line of death again. If we can get over it, uh, we'll get over it, and then, uh, as we talked about before, we want to be looking at 12.2, uh, and then rejection off 12.2. Come down here, test 12k again, look for that momentum switch, breaking over a trend line here on the smaller time frames, and then have a long from, like, 12.1, all the way up here as we break this bad boy we can hold this long up to potentially as high as 13k but i would say 12.6 to 12.7 would be the area you want to be looking to take your most of your profit if we recover and break through this red line of death and tap 12.2 and do this right there's a lot of variables that need there's a lot of tick there's a lot of boxes that need to be ticked right for this to happen if we do continue towards the downside here um this is still a, a potential Thing that could happen my dog just <laughs> whining in the background this is a potential thing that could happen but um yeah i mean we're here we're prepared we're ready to see what goes on and if we do get this kind of thing to, to go down right if this does break towards the downside now uh it's pretty bad actually it's pretty bad because it's less likely to be a trap uh we're, we're going to be watching that 10 7 area for a nice long here and i will be looking for a long around there i'll probably put in a long uh, 11k to be honest if, if it slows down there anyway uh, and again this isn't like leverage longs guys this is an investment long so i'm gonna be dcaing down uh, i'm gonna have like uh if, if momentum slows down here, which I expect it to, right, we're gonna we're gonna put in a nice little long here, okay, and then maybe 10.7 here, put another little long here, okay, and then if we do get that girthy dump down to the 200, another little long down at the 200 as well, uh, and just fill that CME's gap as we talked about uh, with this magnet that we've been talking about all year, uh, with these two trend lines crossing around 9.6, right? Um, this just so happens we have a CME's gap there as well, right? So Bitcoin, the stars are aligning for some girthy trades here, girthy girth. Again, like the video, if you haven't already, please, helps me out. I'm, I'm not begging you, but if you would like to, it'd be great. Um, with this, with this here, what can happen here? Well, we've already talked about everything that can happen here. Those are all the measure moves. Uh, I will just bring up the, uh, what should we have here? What should we have here? Uh, fib circles will be good for now. Uh, we'll just see where we are. Ooh, we'll just see where we are with that. Yeah, we're just we're still playing this range coming through, which does make sense here. And if we lost that, uh, it would also come down uh, to 10.7 and potentially test that 10.5 area with a wick and then come back up here and, and look for that reclaim, right? Uh, in terms of the rounded blue boxes, because that's what you watch it for, really. Let's be real here. Uh, the rounded blue boxes, you can see I'm working on the alt machine, right? That's coming soon. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I'll keep you in the loop. It's coming soon. <laughs> right. Um, what else have we got here? What else have we got? Um, yeah, just playing out this range as predicted so far. We're going to see if we can... Um, no, that's the wrong indicator. We're going to see if we can we can uh, maintain this area right now. I'm just going to tell my dog to be quiet one second. You be quiet. Okay, you'll go in your bed. You will. Be quiet. All right, cool. <laughs> Back to the TA here. Back to the T. My dog is just like harassing me so bad right now. But yeah, main point here before I have to go, right? And and appeal to this much smaller boss of mine, right? <laughs> um, what what should we see here? Yeah, ten seven, ten six is my area for the big long. Okay, if we do lose this area and get a wave down, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, no problem here. And then from that point, uh, we're going to be looking to reclaim this white line, bang it up from there, and then 12.5 is in your sights, right? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just playing out this triangle, playing out these, these kind of moves. And then once we do break this kind of area, uh, it's going to be girthy, girthy bull market time for everyone, okay? Girthy gains, 50-man Lambo race after this bull market, guys. Let's do it. But that is, that is basically the video, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I'm here for you guys. Uh, this is what I do. I enjoy it. I enjoy the teaching. And uh, yeah, just leave me a comment. Ask me any questions. Join t.me slash algobox if you want a cool, tightly knitted community to hang out with where we discuss the charts, we discuss our trades, and uh, we, we discuss everything that's going on, right? So I'll see you in the next video. Sorry it's a smaller one, but I, I have a, a hell of a lot to do today, guys. Actually, we'll just quickly, before we go, we'll, we'll take a look at Hash Revens. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. We could get a bounce here towards the upside, so we'll see how this goes. But that is the video, guys. Peace out. Give it a like. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. From Bitcoin Beats.